Hey y'all and welcome to episode 117 of the Crazy Sock Lady podcast. My name is Kay and this is my YouTube channel where I share all about my knitting and crocheting and crafting adventures. Today is September 9th. It is a Wednesday and I have a lot to share with you today. Might be a little light on the actual knitting that I've done, but we'll talk about that in a minute. But I have quite a few things I've received in the mail. We have a giveaway winner from episode 116 to announce as well as a new giveaway to announce for this episode. Some Etsy shop news and lots of fun stuff. So let's jump right in. You can find me on Instagram and Ravelry as the crazy sock lady. We do have a Ravelry group for this podcast. That's where you're going to find any knit alongs that are going on. There's some scrappy Sunday chatter going on over there. Lots of fun stuff. So head over and join us in the Ravelry group if you have not already. In the Ravelry group right now, we have one knit along going on. I um, one official knit along and that is our Stash Busters Cal for 2020 and I am co-hosting this with Julie from Twin Stitches Designs podcast. This one is basically just use your stash. There are different ways that you can earn extra entries for different quarters throughout the year. So head over and check out all of the full details over there. Then we have an informal knit along going on right now for the Anchors cardigan. So you can head over and check that one out. There's no prizes or anything crazy. You don't even have to finish your sweater. It's just head over and chat about your progress and share some pictures. We have a giveaway winner to announce from episode 116. So we did a giveaway for a skein of blush yarns that Natalie sent over and the colorway was autumn is my favorite time of year. So I went through and did random number generator from all of the comments for episode 116 and the winner is Laura Adams. So Laura, congratulations. If you would just get in touch with me at crazysockladypodcast at gmail.com, give me your shipping information and I can get that sent right out to you. We do have a giveaway for this episode. I'm gonna go ahead and announce that. I received a package from Little Robin Cottage and it is two of the cutest fall Halloween themed bags. And I thought we're gonna go ahead and give those away right now on today's episode because with my move coming up, I don't want them to get kind of lost in the shuffle and I want y'all to get them in time to use them. So I have two project bags from her. Here is the first one. It's a drawstring bag. The fabric is so cute. And then the second one is a zippered bag. It's slightly larger. So we're going to give away both of these. So there will be two winners for this giveaway. And you just have to comment down below. I don't even have a prompt in mind already. So just comment down below and I will do random number generator and draw a winner before I record the next episode. So Etsy shop news, I did want to announce quickly that there is a very limited amount of items left in the Etsy shop as far as merchandise type of stuff goes. There are, I think there's still some Scrappy Sunday pins left, Scrappy Sunday progress keepers, um, can cozies. I'm trying to remember if that's it. There might be some one other thing left, but I'm blanking on what it is right now. But those are still left in the Etsy shop. If you wanted to get any of those, you were thinking about getting any of those, um, grab them now because they might not be available for a couple of months. I'm going to leave the listings up for those until this next Friday, which is 9-18. And then I'm going to take the listings down for the merchandise and I won't be relisting anything like that it probably two months is what I'm thinking. So it's going to be a little while before anything like that's back in the shop with us getting moved and getting settled. So if you wanted any of those items that are left, make sure you head over and grab what you wanted. All right, finished objects and works in progress are going to be combined a little bit today because I have not done a ton of knitting. Let me go ahead and show you what very little I have done. Could you guys see this when it was sitting back there? Look at this. I am having the absolute worst luck with ink pins. <laughs> I have stopped using them completely when it comes to 
anything with my knitting because I love to have a little notepad to write down rounds, rows, cross them off as I go, take notes. I have that in every project bag, but I am done using ink pens because this is like the third bag. It happened in my fringe bag. It happened in a Mountain State Stitches bag and this one. So this is at least the third bag that this has happened in. So I am now only using pencils. <laughs> But anyways, this is a bag from Sandy of By the Lakeside. I have Eric socks in here, which I showed you last episode that one is done. I'm still working on the second one, but I did get a little bit done on it at Knit Group yesterday. So I thought I would show you guys the little bit of progress I made. Here is the second sock. So I think last time I was not very far past like doing the heel flap and the heel turn. I had started back in the round and started the gusset decreases, but I was not very far. So that's what I got done in knit group yesterday. I think that's the only time these have been touched since um, I showed them last. I'm doing these on high high flyers, US one 2.25 millimeter needles. There's what the high high flyers look like. I really enjoy these. I will have these um, linked down below for you guys. And I'm using Knit Picks Felici in the Treehouse colorway. That's what the main color is, the self-striping. And then just some leftover gray and black yarns for heels, toes, and cuffs. I'm following the pattern Mag Vanilla Socks on Magic Loop by Crazy Sock Lady Designs, one of my patterns, and doing the size medium. So hopefully these will be done sometime soon. I need to start trying to finish off works in progress that I have going right now so that everything is done and my needles are kind of mostly, you know, for the most part cleared before we move so that I can think about what knitting projects I want to take to have during the move process, um, you know, to have on hand once yarn is all packed up and all of that. So the only other thing that I have touched, I did, I have worked on my anchors cardigan a little bit. I have not split for the sleeves yet. So I'll show that again once I'm split for the sleeves. I did some knitting on that yesterday and today. This is the other thing that I've been working on. Look at that stack of dishcloths. I just have not had the brain space with everything that we've been getting ready for the move and all of that. We listed our house, had showings, went under contract. Like it has just been a whirlwind of craziness um, with this move. So all that I wanted to work on are dishcloths. There's just something so completely mindless, kind of meditative about just doing that pattern and not thinking about anything. You don't have to stop and measure. I just I have it memorized and I just go. So the pattern I've been using is Grandma's Favorite. I think it's Grandma's Favorite, Grandma's Second Favorite, I think. I'll have my project page for these linked below and you can find the pattern um, via that. But it's by PJ Allen. It is free on Ravelry. So here it is. This one actually, here, let me show you this one first. And then I'll explain that one. But you start out one corner, increase, and then decrease back down. And I'm doing the no holes version. So there are no holes along the edges here, which I prefer. They're not to be holes. So I'm using Knit Picks Dishy. I don't have any more of that colorway left, but I'll show you this next one I'm working on so you can see the label. So it's Knit Picks Dishy multi and this gray color here is pebble so that's what i used for these i had two of these how many 100 grams 190 yards per one so i had 200 grams of the pebble and i did this whole stack minus the corner of this one <laughs> So how many is that? One, two, three, four, five, six full dishcloths. 
And then this one I did the pebble up until till I ran out and then I just attached in this gray. And this is a cone of Knit Picks in Dishy in the Silver colorway, I believe is what that one is called. Just a big old cone of cotton. And I bought this because I thought it would go with every Knit Picks Dishy that I have and then I can do that just when I get to that last one, just finish off the corner in the gray. So first two <laughs> um, balls of Knit Picks Dishy gone. I have had so much fun doing them that I immediately, after I finished that, picked up the next two balls because I bought two of each of the collars that I have. And this colorway is Herb Garden. This is the second one. I've actually already finished the first one. I'll tell you, it's all I've wanted to do. So I have three of these done. Same pattern. And I'm on the fourth one. The needles that I'm using are US 8 5mm Chow Gu Red Lace needles. I'm sure I will probably work on this some more this afternoon. <laughs> it's just been one, it's something that I just do not have to think about in the slightest. I worked on it yesterday while we did like a virtual tour of a house in Ohio, so. I can just pick it up and work on it at any point in time. Oh, the bag I have it in is my French Supply Co. Town bag. I think that's all about works in progress and finished objects. Like I said, I have not really worked on much of anything else. I have two other sock whips that I would like to get more progress done on. So hoping after maybe the beginning of next week, things might slow down just a smidge for a couple of weeks. And then I can kind of focus on getting some works in progress off the needles. All right, now I have some mail to show you guys. So I received a package from Cookie and Bees. It was a cute little surprise package. Is their card and she sent along just this cute little notebook as a little add-in which I thought was adorable because like I said I love notebooks in my knitting bag so this one will be perfect and an orange pin which I'll use in my planner not in my project bag <laughs> and then she sent this is my favorite thing that they do these little yarn cake cozies. You put your cake right down inside of there. And she said she thought I might like a little Halloween themed one, which I will. It is so cute. So I can't wait to get this on a cake of yarn and start using it. I need to start getting out Halloween themed project bags. That's probably what I'll do when I pack up, um, get like all of my moving knitting ready. I'll use my Halloween project bags. So that was a fun little little package to receive. And then I got some yarn for giveaways. Let me show you that first. So Lavender Mountain Yarns sent us quite a few skeins for prizes. I'm dropping things. They included these cute little progress keepers one for each prize it has their logo on it and they sent all of these <laughs> so i don't think none of them have colorway names listed on them so i'm not sure if they are all just one of a kind these two look like they are the same but like i said none of them have colorway names listed they are all fingering weight, but the bases do vary. So these are the two that look like they're the same. So we've got these two. And we've got a pretty gray. And 
This one is a singles base. It's very pretty. And then this one, which is so dark and moody and perfect for fall. So those will all be going into the prize bin for future prizes for knit alongs and giveaways and stuff like that. Then we received from Dogwood Knits. I love their packaging here. It's very pretty. I'm just going to open this one. They are the same. So I'll leave that one over there. So here's their project bag, which I love. It is just so simple. And I love how classic it looks. And the inside is this cute fabric. Perfect for like a one skein project, like a hat or a pair of socks. So this is great. So they sent one along for me and then one for a giveaway. It's the exact same. Um, so that one will be going into the prize cabinet over here. Then I received some yarn from Wasted Yarns to try out. And these are from Brittany and she contacted me and wanted to know if I would try these out for her and give her some feedback. She noticed that there was kind of a gap. There was no where that she could find to really get indie dyed acrylic yarns. So she wanted to try out dyeing them and now she's looking for people to try out the yarns. So she sent me four to try. And the colorways, let's see, there is Black Widow, Lemon Drop, and I'm guessing this one is Sage. And Shaken Not Stirred. So I'm excited to try these out. I'm not sure what I will make with them yet. If you have any ideas, please let me know down below. Give them a little try and see how they knit up. I will link, I'll link all of the shops um, that I've chatted about below, but I will have Wasted Yarns linked down below if you're interested in heading over and checking out. Um, Brittany was really, they're really interested in getting some acrylic yarns, some more affordable indie dyed yarns into their shop. So I'm excited for them and I can't wait to give these a try. I think I only have one more thing. Let me double check. Yes, I only have one more thing that I received in the mail and oh my gosh, it is a good one. So my friend Natalie of Blush Yarns, I got a surprise package from her. She is one of the sweetest I love that I can call her a friend because she is so sweet and generous. And she knit me something for my birthday. My birthday is coming up next week, actually. She knit me a shawl. I was blown away. <laughs> I was so surprised. So she knit, I wrote down the name of the pattern. It is the Bronte Sister Shawl by Lost and Bond, and she used her yarn, which I think makes it even more special. It is Natalie, um, her yarn, Blush Yarns. I don't know what the colorway names are, but let me stand up so you guys can see this. Look how pretty that is. And she said she'd been working on this for a while, and she actually started knitting this before she knew that we were moving to Ohio. So it's gonna be perfect to wear in Ohio. Look how big it is. The size is great. I love to wear them just like this and have them still cover my arms. I can't wait to be in Ohio 
and wearing this. I will think of Natalie every time that I use it. It is gorgeous. And this one right here has Stellina in it. Probably can't see it. Let's see. I don't know if that's gonna show up, but the green has Stellina in it. It's so pretty. She did a great job picking colors for this and, and the pattern, it's beautiful. So I think that pretty much wraps it up for today. We are still just working on moving stuff. We will get there. <laughs> There's just so much to do, especially with this time we're selling a house for the first time. We've never done that before with a move. So that just adds another little thing that we've got to do within the process. So we're slowly getting there. I'll keep you all up to date as we find out more and nail things down a bit more. But thank you guys so much for joining me today for episode 117. Don't forget to comment down below to enter into the giveaway. And I will see you guys again soon. Until then, happy knitting. Bye.